Hey guys, it's Carmela Rose, and I have my good friend Reese back. Come on. <laughs> 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 no, but she's like, everybody. Um, and he's back because we're going to be doing a 10 minute ab workout. So. Yes, you can do it anytime, anywhere. All you need is a mat, so let's get after it. All right, let's go. All right, first move we're going to start with is a plank. So elbows on the mat. If you need a modify, you can go into a high plank position and hold that push-up position, but we're going to hold it on our elbows if we can do it. Keeping that back straight, butt down. You have 15 more seconds here. Let's knock this out. We're holding. If you find that rocking back and forth, either left to right or front and back, you can do so. Give me five, four, three, two, and time. Nice. All right, let's lay on our back. We have a single leg jackknife, starting with our right hand to left foot. Let's get it going. So there are a couple different ways you can do this, but you can either put your hand on the ground or hand on your abs like we are. You have 15 more seconds here. You're gonna get that shoulder blade off the ground and reach up and touch that toe high as you can. If you need to modify this, let's go elbow to knee, but keep it going in three, two, one. Great job. Let's switch to the other side. And hit it. Remember you're reaching for that toe, getting that shoulder blade off the ground. Again, if you're feeling any pain in the neck, lower back, anything like that, feel free to go elbow to knee. Get that leg up, touch that toe, back down, reset. Keeping that hand on your abs so you make sure that it's engaged. You have five, four, three, two, one. Let's finish this round with some bicycle crunches. And hit it. Let's get elbow to opposite knee, shoulder blade off the ground. There you go. You're gonna pull one leg in as you push the other leg out. There we go. Back and forth. Keep it going, keep it going. Elbow to knee, elbow to knee. If you find that you're messing up this motion, feel free to reset. Take a moment. You have three, two, and time. Nice. Let's go back. We have one more round of this. Back into that plank on your elbows in three, two, one. And let's hit it. Keeping that back straight, butt down. Locking in for those 30 seconds. Squeezing it out. You have 15 more seconds. Breathe. Remember, if you do need to rock to keep you in this motion, that's okay. You have five, four, three, two, and time. Great job, you knocked it out. We're done with planks. Now let's flip over onto our back. Jack knives, starting with that right hand to left foot. Remember there are tons, there are tons of different ways that you can do this exercise, so reach up, get that shoulder blade off the ground. If you're having trouble with getting that shoulder blade up, then bring that leg a little higher and just reach and touch that toe and bring it down. You have five, four, three, two, and time. Let's knock out that other side. And hit it. There we go. Keeping it going. Again, if your neck bothers you, lower back bothers you, modify and put that hand behind your head and bring that elbow to opposite knee. You have 10 more seconds here, push through. Keep that breath going. Each time you move, you should be breathing. There you go, inhale, exhale, and time. Nice. Let's finish this round with some bicycle crunches and then move on to circuit two. Let's get it. Bicycle crunches. Again, this can be a tricky move, so if you're having trouble, take a moment, take a breath, reset, and then start it right back up. One leg comes in as the other leg pushes out, and that elbow comes to the opposite knee. Crunching and crunching. 
There we go. Push through in five, four, three, two, and time. Nice. If you're done with circuit one, let's get into circuit two. First move we have is a squat with a standing crossover crunch. Let's get it. Squat down and bring that elbow to opposite knee. Twisting that body, twisting the abdomen, making sure that you're feeling that crunch. There we go. If you're having trouble with this motion, break it down. This is two moves in one. It's a squat and it's a standing crossover crunch. So feel free to modify and just do those standing crossover crunches. And time. Nice. Let's go back on the mat. We have Russian twists. Back straight, chest up, heels off the ground. There are several ways of modifying this. If you want to, you can cross one foot over the other. You can keep your heels on the ground and simply twist the upper body. There we go, 15 more seconds. Keeping in mind that your back needs to be straight at all times so that pressure doesn't hit the lower back. Breathe it out, breathe it out. Go at any pace you need to. In three, two, time. Let's flatten out on our backs. We have scissor kicks. And hit it. One leg comes down at a time and we switch at the exact same time. Making sure that that bottom leg isn't touching the ground. Don't bounce it off the ground. Go right before it touches. Breathe. You have 10 more seconds here. If, you, if your neck is starting to bother you, just keep your head on the ground. You have five, four, three, two, and time. Nice. Let's run this back one more time. So stand it up, take a breath, hands by your ears, squat, crunch, squat, crunch. There you go. Remember, this is a compound movement. So if you need to separate the squat and the standing crossover crunch, just focus on twisting those abs, getting that elbow to opposite knee. We got this. Breathing it out. Each time we move, we breathe. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. There we go. And time. We're done with that motion. Let's move on to the next. We have Russian twist. So on the mat, heels off the ground and twist. There we go. Nice. Again, if you need some modifications, you can either leave the heels on the ground and only twist that upper body. If you want to, you can cross one foot over the other. Breathe. Keeping that back straight. Chest is up. Making sure that pressure doesn't hit the lower back. In three, two, one. Russian twists are done. Last move, scissor kicks. Let's go. Remember, we're not bouncing that heel off the ground. Bring that foot down right before it touches and switch, switch, switch. There we go. Looking up at that bottom foot, we got this. Final 10 seconds of circuit two, let's get it. Breathe in five, four, three, two, and time, nice. Let's get into circuit three. Into your side plank and pulse, thread the needle. Pulse, thread the needle. This can be a tricky motion, so if you're having trouble, if your shoulder's bothering you, feel free to just hold that side plank. If your shoulder is still bothering you, that hand that's reaching up towards the sky, you can bring it down to the ground just to help you hold that side plank. In five, four, three, two, one. Great job. Now you're going to switch. We knocked out one side. Let's knock out the other. And hit it. Pulse, thread. Pulse down and up. Reach all the way through and back. There we go. Let's keep it going. This starts to bother your lower back. If it bothers your shoulder, remember, put that hand that's reaching up towards the sky. You can put that on the ground to help you initially as you get into side planks. You have three, two, and time. Nice. 
Now on your elbows, we have a rainbow plank Spider-Man combo. Okay, we're knocking out obliques here. There we go. So dip those hips down, bring it up and over, and then we knock out a Spider-Man. That's the same knee to the same elbow. There we go, squeezing that oblique. You have 10 more seconds. Let's go. In five, four, three, two, one. Nice. We have one more round for circuit three, and then we're done. And hit it. Push through. I know it's tough. I know it's burning. We're almost there, though. We're almost there. Breathe. Pulse. Thread. Pulse. Thread. There we go. Remember, you have modifications here. You've made it this far, so you can make it to the end. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, and time. Nice. Let's knock out that other side. Pulse and thread. Finish strong. Finish strong. There's only a couple more seconds of work left. We got this. Breathe. If you need to put that top hand down, for any reason, that's okay. I want you to finish this strong though. 10 more seconds. You're there, you're there, you're there. Give me five, four, three, two, and time. Last move of the entire workout. Let's make it our best one, let's go. So we have that rainbow plank, Spider-Man, Spider-Man. One more time, dip those hips up and over. Spider-Man, Spider-Man. This is another compound movement, so you can break these up if you need to. 15 more seconds on the clock. Push through, push through. I know it's tough. You have 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Finish strong. 5, 4, 3, 2, and time. <laughs> <That's it. laughs> oh my gosh. You guys, that was a great workout. Thank yeah. you again. Anytime. <laughs> right, you can do that anytime, anywhere. Crush me, crush her, so you got this. You can fit that in as a warm up or a cool down, or if you guys are in the time crunch, I definitely recommend that as well. But if you can, fit it in with your workout every day, and that's when you're going to best see results, right? Yes. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I took his job. All right. Bye guys. <laughs> um, if you guys want to see more videos like this, make sure you like and subscribe. We'll see you guys next time.